All right, so this is the question. This is the question you got to figure out. And I can't answer it, but only you can. And Magda, maybe they can put this in the chat. Put this in the chat. Like, what type of investor are you? So there's three types we're going to talk about, and the fourth one I'm going to give to you. So there's scalpers, there's day traders, and there's swing traders. And so if you can't read it, I'll read it to you. It says, scalping entails the buying and selling of a financial instrument, usually a stock, future, a currency, commodity, or even an option, uh, with the goal of producing a small gain, or could be a large gain, on that position. Scalpers attempt to profit from short-term price movements. So really quick. Now, this is the most important part for scalping. The time frame that scalpers trade hold positions ranges from seconds to minutes. And so when I told you to figure out what kind of trader you are, a scalper is somebody who's in front of their computer and they're doing this by the second. I mean, every second counts when you're scalping because movement happens, volatility happens. And so people who do this are, I mean, I always like to say this is strictly for live men, not for freshmen. And since we got a lot of freshmen in here, I wouldn't advise this yet. If you haven't traded before, I wouldn't advise you to start scalping right away. Yes, you can make money in it. Is it volatile? Is it risky? Yes. Uh, and so we want to take that into account. Now, there are day traders. And that sounds pretty self-explanatory, right? So the strategy for day trading involves taking positions into financial assets such as stocks, futures, currencies. Same pretty much thing. But the day traders tend to hold the abundance of trades over minutes and hours. And so my scalpers, we're talking about seconds and minutes. My day traders, we're talking about minutes and hours as a maneuver, uh, their transitions throughout the changing market conditions. And so I know Ian talks about this a lot when we're talking about day trading, especially in the futures market, where it's, hey, we don't we trade the open and we trade the close, right? So it's between 9.30 to 10.30, and it's between 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Why? Momentum shifts in the morning, momentum starts to shift again in the evening, and then during the today you don't see as much movement and if you've watched any chart if you've even if you watch cnbc you know as soon as it hits 9 30 you'll start seeing colors flashing it'll be red it'll be green it'll be red it'll be green you're trying to figure out what's going on trades are happening and so there's a lot of flow that's moving in it during those times and so day traders they capitalize on that time movement now and it seems like we got a lot of these people in the chat so shout out to everybody that's in the chat we got swing traders. So unlike scalpers, and no knock to them, and unlike day traders, shout out to y'all, all right? Swing traders hold their positions for longer time periods. This can be for several days, weeks, even months, and is dependent on the asset, the trend, and other existing positions of that swing trade. And so swing traders are a little bit more, more disciplined, more patient, and are looking to have returns not immediately, but over a course of period of time that is a lot longer. So we're talking about several days, weeks, and months. Now, I didn't put this one in here, but the fourth one would be an investor, right? You're the, you are an investor. That's your type of investment, right? You, you are an investor. And that means that you're long-term, right? So you're looking at holding positions from anywhere from two to five to 10 to 20, 30 years. And so we want to make sure if we're going to be uh, involved in trading, we figure out what is our palette for trading. I will personally tell you, I don't have the stomach for scalping. I don't have the time for it. I got too many calls. I got too many meetings. I, I wouldn't succeed at scalping, right? Day trading, again, I'm traveling a lot, moving around a lot. When I was at work, it was tough. I got kids. I'm trying to teach them how to skip and hop and hula hoop. And I, I, it, it was too much, right? I can't concentrate on it. Swing trading, I was like, okay, I can give that a try. You know what? I need more time than a week, right? Especially how I like to do what I like to do my research, take my time, make the investment, and watch it flourish. And I'm pretty good at watching my investments flourish, and we'll come back to that. I feel like K-Dot when I said I'm coming back to that. We're going to come back to that, though. I'm going to show you how they flourish. All right? So figure out who you are before you trade. 